Yo, 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 yo. New release alert. Well, it's been out for a little bit, but you know, I just happened to get my hands on it. And I've been really testing it out to really give it a real shot and let you know what my opinion is on this new release. So uh, let's just get right into this motherfucker. Roll my music and let's see what's up with this bullshit. The sexy motherfucker. <laughs> Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, here to bring you something that you've never heard before. Never seen before. Something out of this planet, out of this world. Something super amazing. Super califragilisticexpialidocious. How the fuck that shit go? And it's not one, but it's two fragrances from the same house. And it's fragrances from the lovely house of Parfum Vintage. And it's none other than their newest releases of Pineapple Vintage Beyond Noir. And Pineapple Vintage Noir Intense. Here we go. So this is where the samples that you're going to get on the website. They kind of look like this. Here's a little sample joint. Bottles here, I think it's a two and a half joint. Boom. I'm gonna spray the Beyond Noir on this hand, like so. And fuck it, I'm just gonna spray the Noir Intense on this hand. Like so. Here's what it looked like. Little pineapple vintage joint. Cute packaging for a decant, not going front. It's got the little gold tone or whatever. Blase de blah. All right. I ain't gonna bullshit y'all, this ain't a first impression for me. I've already smelled them and I've tried to give them a work. This is my thing, and I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I refuse to lie to y'all regardless of anything. You know how I do. When I first got Pineapple Vintage, I was like, crack. Vintage clone, super pineapple, amazing, beautiful, mature, sexy. I loved it. Then we got to the Pineapple Vintage Intense. Woo! It's got that little oomph that it was missing. It's got the extra longevity and projection of the original one. I liked it, but it was missing that dark element. So I was like, in my mind, I'm like, yo, if these people know anything, they're gonna do that intense dark version. And truth be told, boom, they came out with it, right? Bet. My whole thing is, I'm a little turned off. And maybe it's just me, because I'm turned off by everybody doing a Ventus clone. My expectation for these two fragrances were something a little different. You know what I mean? Something, something to really wow me. I was expecting the Noir Intense version, and it does have the smokier element that I was looking for that it was missing on the Intense one. Other than that, the Beyond Noir, it's got a little bit of a difference to it. It's got a little bit of a more of a, a darker, woodier funk to it. The birch wood. My problem is that, for me, I wanted something different from the house. I just feel it's so linear, in my opinion. The fragrance is called Pineapple Vintage. The house is not called Pineapple Vintage, it's Parfums Vintage. I kind of wanted to stray away from that Aventus clone style. The Beyond Noir kind of changes it a little bit, but I just feel the shit is so linear. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I preach about balling on a budget. You feel me? There's some fragrances that I do spend some paper on. That's my whole thing about bowling on a budget, right? Let's keep it where we're all there, right? So with these, it's just pineapple, 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 pineapple. The fucking fragrance is called Pineapple Vintage Intense Beyond Noir uh, and Noir Intense. I get it, but it's just exhausting already. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like if it's $20, you know, it's up there in paper, you know, close to a buck. So. In my mind, I want to be open-minded about it and give my honest review, but then it's like, I, I, I smelled this shit before. Like, this is, it's a constant. Then I wanted something different. This one's a little dirtier. The Beyond Noir is a little bit dirtier. And then the Noir Intense is, like I said, missing that, that Aventus, that smokier batch of Aventus that we would've been missing. But do I think it's worth the price? Nah, bro, I'm gonna be a buck with you. It's not worth the price. If this shit was like 50 and under, we'd be having a different conversation. Or we might not because it's still an Aventus clone, fam. It's just pineapple across the fucking way. 
So for me, I'm gonna sound like a bitter bitch, but that's just what it is. I gotta be a buck with y'all. Do these shits blow me away? No, because there's nothing really crazy special about it, in my opinion. If you love Aventus and you're an Aventus whore, these two fuckers right here, the Beyond Noir, again, it's a little dirtier. It's got a little bit of a dirtier, woodier essence, but it's it's pretty linear. They all stay around the same cross line because it's all that pineapple shit. It's two events. It's like, yo, I'm fucking, like, I'm a vent. My dick is a ventist out already. Like, I just don't know what to say. I don't hate the fragrances. Believe you me, I'm bitching, but I don't hate the fragrance. It's just I want more for 80, 100, you know what I'm saying? Anything over $50, I want more. I want to be like, yeah, this was money well spent. I haven't smelled nothing like this before, or it's way better than its counterpart or whatever. Nah, just fuck with, for me, I'll fuck with Pineapple Vintage and Pineapple Vintage Intense. It's not crazy. I mean, it is what it is. I recommend y'all to try a sample and prove me wrong. Tell me everything that I'm saying about this is wrong. Go on the website. They're having promotions going on. I'll leave the links below of what's popping. Try out samples at least. And let me know what you guys think. What's your personal opinion? I'm not always right. As a matter of fact, I'm more wrong than I am right. I mean, my comments say different. There's a lot of people like, yo, Kuba, you know what the fuck you're talking about. Oh, yeah, this shit does smell fire. Cool. You know, the fragrance snobs might think different, but yo, prove me wrong. And I shut the fuck up. Nope. Are they nice? Yes. Do they smell any different from the other ones? Eh. It's a lot of ranting and raving and bullshit, but it's just Aventus clones. Let it, let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Y'all fucking it up for me, man. All y'all Aventus clone people. Come out, come out with something to blow my mind, man. Come, you know, come out with the bang. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I want to be able to do the matrix on this shit and be like, yo, yes. You know what I'm saying? The company send it to me. I am appreciative of y'all sending it to me, but I tell y'all over and over and over again. I'ma keep it a buck with you. I don't give a fuck. Are they ball sprayers? No. No. There's nothing. Motherfucking pineapples. 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 I don't I don't wanna do it. Pineapples! Pineapples. You already know I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. And the day. I'll see y'all motherfuckers next week. You know who it is. It's your angry boy. <laughs> Smooches! Cubano, 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 Cubano. What's fresh? Who's best? I don't know. Wanna know who's gonna pass the test? I mean,